we're back out in the garage, still messing with wastegates. Um, so what I had noticed, this is the phone, it may be an even better image, um, but what I had noticed was that um, after I talked to the Varin and, and got everything kind of situated on that end, um, one of the gates, when you hold pressure to it, it doesn't leak on the uh, inlet side, the compressor side, the bottom of the wastegate, uh, the bottom of the valve, diaphragm, whatever you want to call it. So that led me to think, you know, if, if this thing starts to see pressure until it's actually disconnected, it doesn't, it doesn't come down. So I've got the wastegates apart. I'm going to show you something that I found, and uh, we'll see if we can do some more investigating from there. So I've got two wastegates, both 50 millimeters. One, you add shop air, moves the valve, valve stays there, take the shop air away, the valve stays there until it's vented. Wastegate number two, add shop air. It'll go down and then leak out of the diaphragm top at the top port. So I was putting everything back together, um, cleaning everything up here. Uh, Varin just told me to go ahead and send him this wastegate back uh, and he would take a look at it and see what the deal is with the leak that we were having. But as I was putting it back together, I noticed something interesting. Um, I was just kind of going around this, looking at the diaphragm, and I noticed this. So these two pieces that hold the diaphragm together weren't even tight. Um, I'm just going to give it a little look over and see if I can get it put back together. Um, I'm going to put it back together loosely to confirm that there's still a leak and then I'll put it back together tight and we'll see if that fixes the leak. So, I mean, while I'm sitting here putting this back together, I was just thinking, um, you know, this uh, is something to be expected whenever you're trying to order something a little cheaper online. Um, but as is, as is you would think from his reputation. Brynn told me to just send it in. He'd take a look at it. Um, wouldn't be any problem with doing that. Um, you know, he didn't really say, just send it to me and I'll send you another one or send me the diaphragm and I'll just send you a new diaphragm, anything like that. Uh, he did want to take the wastegate in and take a look at it. Just so you're aware of how things work. Um, so if you run into a situation where you do need to send something back to be inspected, maybe uh, potentially replaced, just be aware that you, you're going to be shipping the whole part back. And there's nothing wrong with that. I just, you know, putting it out there for people so that they know. So you're thinking about it, if I'm pre putting pressure in on the bottom port below this diaphragm, if this thing's just hand tight, it makes sense if it's going to leak. It can, you know, leak up through there and it, it will come out right here because the diaphragm is what seals this cap which you put the grub screws in to hang on to the valve it seals that from the spring seat um, there's no actual o-ring in there there's a little o-ring sitting on the that's kind of I don't know if you call it cast but it's molded into the silicone uh, diaphragm widget so you don't have to get these grub screws insanely tight but you just have to hold on to the valve <clears throat> for now. <laughs> All right, so same song, different verse. I'm just retesting this. It's got the same spring in it as before. I can move it by hand. Um, so what we'll do is we'll crack the valve and watch the pressure. So I'm going to crack the valve open you hear it just leaking straight out of the top so it just has so much pressure on the bottom it just blows the hose off so I'm going to tighten up the o-ring silicone 
diaphragm. I'm gonna tighten up the diaphragm. So, taking the diaphragm back out, I went ahead and put the valve back in the uh, seat here. Just gives me something to hang on to while I'm tightening this guy up. So, all I'm gonna do, we can take a look. Uh, there's nothing super special, it's just a little piece of silicone with an o-ring into it, made into it and you can see it's supposed to seat in here um, we'll put this guy together so there's nothing sharp on here I'm checking the o-ring and the diaphragm in here there's no obvious holes or anything like that <clears throat> what I will do is just put a dab you can use WD-40 you can use water just something to make this surface wet so that it slides together, so that it slides together easily when screwing it together. And then once it dries, it's dried. Uh, it's gonna be a hard time getting this back apart if I have to take it back apart. But anyway, so we'll give it a shot here. Be really nice if you could see in there to see what this is seating like. I want this to be as centered as possible. To try and ensure that it's going to seal proper. It doesn't. It doesn't seat, you know, down on here very well. So that's making this a little bit more difficult. So maybe we'll try doing it this way. I don't think it's gonna matter. Just give it our best guess and get after it's what I'm gonna have to do. Just give her some. Get it tight. <clears throat> now, hopefully, I've got enough diaphragm <laughs> for for full extension of the valve and. It doesn't unseat the diaphragm on the wastegate. <clears throat> okay. We're back. So, got the wastegate back together. Uh, the same spring as before. So, we will see together now what happens. See if I can frame both. Oh, so much for that. Something's wrong with this regulator. Go figure, it's another Harbor Freight product. All right. Let's see if we can do it with framing both of them. Huh? Let's see if we can get 20. All right, now we'll shut the regulator off and look. 
gauge is barely creeping down. But this amount of pressure loss is okay. More than likely, I suspect it's the grub screws, if, in, if anything, holding that valve on. They're the only, uh, they're kind of like the last resort. Uh, or, I'm sorry, last option as far as air to get through from this area on the bottom of the wastegate out through the top and I'm just gonna put a little bit of Loctite on there like some blue Loctite because this is a pain as it is it'd be really terrible to strip one of those grub screws out do they have anything less than blue maybe figuring out polish I don't know I'm gonna put something on there some kind of a thread sealer so this is the baseline this is the one that I have not suspected any problems out of you can see it cracks right at 10 pounds or less actually um, it's supposed to be a seven pound spring so i'm going to stop it at about 30 and shut the regulator all the way off you see it's got about the same amount of creep again i expect this is probably related to the grub screws so uh, what have we learned? If you're going to do things cheap, be ready to work on them. Um, VS Racing, they'll stand behind it. They'll tell you to just, uh, you know, if you have any issues, just send it back. So, um, what I'm going to be doing now is trying to put all these videos together into something comprehensive um, about this experience. So, thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Um, let me know if you'd like to see any more information on these wastegates. I do have a little bit of time before uh, these parts need to go to a fabrication to set up the twin turbo system. Um, as of right now, I'm planning on just mounting them on the housings of the turbos. That's going to be kind of the best space saving and the best, I guess, as far as the exhaust gas flow placement that I can put them um, because I'm having 90s that come straight off of the headers and the 90s if I were to put this in the 90 it would go through my radiator so it's got a 90 coming off of the header that the turbo he just bolts to one of the C, uh, a couple of CX racing 90s so um, this is probably just these are probably just going to go on the turbine housings that's the thing to do today anyways so I'll have these just mounted on the turbine housings and uh, the wastegate dump will just kind of merge on into my downpipe. So looks like this problem's fixed. Um, be moving on to some other videos soon. Thanks for watching. Part two. This is going to be like the control from the last video. Give it some pressure, shut it off, slow leak down, pull the pressure off, get my finger caught in the valve. that boys I don't know how I'm gonna put all this together but um got the waste gates working um, I'm gonna go back and relap the valves I'm gonna do it this time with the waste gates assembled I'm gonna show you how Checking for the wastegate seat firing uh, between the valve, the seat between the valve and the firing to leak. No water leaking from there. The only water that's leaking is where the uh, <clears throat> where this uh, firing housing is. Um, I'm gonna do some looking into that. <laughs> Thank you. 
So it actually wasn't leaking here at where the valve seats on that fire ring. It was leaking one step down from there. Right guys, so I think that I have found out where the water was leaking from. It's not, it did not appear to be leaking between the valve and the firing here. It appears to be leaking between the wastegate body and the firing, which makes sense. This wastegate is not, you know, it's not pressed in there, or I'm sorry, the firing's not pressed into the wastegate to allow for some thermal expansion. So once this thing is warm, Mike? it's going to seal up real well. That being said, I am because there's just so little stick out here. I am going to add another shim to add preload. And um, I've got a buddy with a lathe, which helps, right? And we'll check, we'll check the run out on this and I'll update you eventually in another video. But I'm pretty much done with these wastegates. Which, make sure it's going to accept 70 to 80 pounds of dome pressure, which both of these wastegates do easily. This one was leaking when a press, pressure was applied to the bottom of the diaphragm. Uh, found the leak. O-ring the diaphragms. Use some O-rings that are capable of high temp. And mm -hmm. you also want it to be good for chemicals because, mm -hmm. you know, whether you guys are using ethanol or mm -hmm. methanol... <laughs> Surely there's nobody using methanol in some Chinese wastegates, but I, I, you know, you never know. Anyways, I'm going to let little dude here keep working on the wastegates. Uh, just be sure you check them, take them apart, and don't put them back together for final assembly until you're happy with the way that everything's going together. Uh, thanks for checking out the videos, and uh, guess what? The heads are done, so the short block's getting dropped off this weekend. Thanks, guys.